What is up everybody on YouTube? This is Troopers Gaming HD coming straight at you with yet again another video. Actually the first video on this channel in 2019. So I hope you guys kind of got through the Christmas, got through the New Year's Eve like pretty good, nice and healthy. I surely hope that. We're back right here on the channel on Troopers Gaming HD with daily uploads and I kind of have been kind of taking a little vacation throughout the holidays. Uh, I hope it's okay with you, but I've been on a skiing vacation and I kind of, yeah. I'm back on work right here and I'm back in Farmsville in 2019. I'm glad that you guys are still here and I surely hope that you're ready for a great year of 2019 on Tubers Gaming HD. There kind of has not been any uploads right here and I hope it's okay with you. But throughout the, the last couple of weeks where I've been gone, we have got actually a lot of new mods that I'm about to show you guys in this video, or at least some of them in this video. And there is actually some pretty cool and nice stuff. And uh, actually today we got some new exciting stuff that I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys. We got a lot of new stuff today actually. And uh, that is what we're going to get into right here in this video. So I hope you guys are ready for that. And if you just think it's great, I think the game right here is really doing something on its own. But I think you guys should definitely go ahead and smash the thumbs up and actually like this. Because the mods have finally found their way to Farm Simulator 2019 right here on PS4 and also on Xbox One. So that's the console setup. And if you're new to the channel... I'm Tubers Gaming HD, and I'm gonna deliver videos for you every single day, hopefully. So yeah, hit the thumbs up, make sure to kind of click the red button under this video, which is the subscribe button if you haven't done it already, and join the other people. And uh, with that said, let's go ahead and take a look at what actually came out today. So we're gonna get down to the mods right here, and you can see right here, I do have a lot of new things right here because I have not been playing the game for like two weeks. But today we got some new stuff in large tractors, which is right here. We got the Challenger MT800E Field Python, and we got the Challenger MT700E Field Wiper. That is some new tractors that actually came out for the game today. So um, yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and download this right here. Boom, shaka laka, I go boom. Yeah, I actually do go boom. And this one right here, so these are two new Challenger machines and Challenger tractors, which is pretty exciting. And I do actually think it's pretty pretty dope with that indeed. So uh, yeah, if we should actually take a look at the MT800E right here, it has a price, like starting price on 427,000 euros. The power on this is 492 horses, so it definitely have a lot of power. That's pretty good for a tractor like this. If the MT700, we have to go ahead and take a look at it right here. It has a starting price on 319,000 euros. And the power on this right here is starting 384. And I think you can actually configure this to a higher level, but that is what we're gonna go ahead and find out later in this video. So um, yeah, I hope you guys stay tuned for that. Also, we do have some new stuff in playstables actually, or I think it is actually to be found in other right here no but maybe farm buildings no hmm we do have some pretty strange things we should actually have got a christmas tree but where is that to be found i don't know hmm christmas tree other no but yeah, we should have a Christmas tree somewhere. But where is it? Stanchel Apache. Uh, maybe it's in the game already. I don't know. But it should be in here somewhere. Yeah, but whatever. It's not so important right now. It's also a little bit late with the Christmas tree. Because Christmas is basically over. It is the 10th of January right now. So it's almost like... Two, two weeks, three weeks since uh, Christmas Eve, so yeah, <laughs> maybe a little bit too late on that, but whatever. I still do think it's a great thing. But we do have the large tractors downloaded right now, the challengers, which is pretty cool. We're gonna go into career mode and actually get to the kind of like map where I showcase new mods for you guys. So yeah, 
right here, gonna start up, and now it is loading right here, the very important map. So while we're actually waiting for it to load, I think definitely if you haven't done it yet, please go ahead and click the red button, the red subscribe button under this video, and then you're actually kind of like, then you're actually into the game right here, you're into the channel of Two Bros Gaming HD, and you're a part of the Two Bros community. Also, if you see that little bell, which is the post notifications, you can just click that and then you actually get a post every time I upload, which is every single day and sometimes more than just once a day. And also, if you think it's great with these new mods, please go ahead and hit the thumbs up on this video. There is a lot of the creators who is actually watching my videos. So um, let's go ahead and see if this video can actually get 100 likes for these new things right here. That would be pretty cool. And I think it is actually... My last video actually got more than 100 likes, is that true? 98 likes and the second last one has 135 and the third one has 313. So it should be easy to get 100 likes on this one too. But now we're in the rear input map, which is the showcase map of course. We don't have anything right here other than just a train. So let's go ahead and get all over to the right where we have the new mods. We have them right here, the MT700E and also the MT800E series. I don't know why it's called a field python, but it is some kind of snake graphic on the tractor, as you can see. And that one has a wiper track kind of graphic on the, on the hood. You can see right here, it's a snake, basically, you can see that. I don't, if you can't see it, you should actually get some glasses, but there's an eye right there. It looks like a snake actually, wiper snakes. So you can actually change the engine setup on this right here to a 775E, which has 438 horses under the hood. We're gonna go ahead and buy that actually, right there, the wiper. Then we have this right here, the MT800, and we can go ahead and take that to a 875E right there, which has 646 horses under the hood. You can change the kind of like setup right here on the tracks to three meters or just standard. It's not that wider. The tracks is just smaller and just a little bit wider right there. And you can see there's once again a snake of a python. This is a python snake. I think a python snake is actually uh, a dangerous snake. I'm not quite sure, but I think it actually is like dangerous as hell. But um, yeah, you can kind of like Correct me if I'm wrong, uh, down in the comment comment section actually. But here we do have them. These two, I can I can easily call these two like snake tractors because they are basically snake tractors. You can see there's a, there's actually an eye right there with the American flag in the eyeball. What the hell? That's cool. Here we don't have an American flag, but over here we do actually have the American flag in the eyeball, as you can see right there. The Stars and Stripes is in the eyeball of the Python snake. This right here is actually kind of right, but this over here is turned in the wrong direction. You can see the blue right there. The stars is on the wrong side. If we have a... Um, do we have an American flag right here near the station? Yeah, we have it right there. You can see the stars and stripes, the blue area is actually on the left of the flag, top left corner, but on the eye right here, it's on the top right corner. So that's a mistake actually. I don't know why, but it is. So we do have them right here. You can see the kind of teat or the teat of the snake, which is looking pretty realistic actually. It's looking quite good with the graphics and you can see on the top right there we have the top of the mouth on these right here and it definitely looks pretty exciting i'm just going to go into large tractors i think we actually do have the ability to go ahead and buy these as standards you can see that's the mt700 and here we have the mt800 so this right here is the old version of the mt but it's still great it's still great and this is like new the same one as we do have it. Let's go ahead and see right here. The MT-800 is in here. As I just showed you guys, right here we do have it, MT-800. And you can say the 875, which has 646 horses. This is just with the standard graphics. So this is basically the same tractor, indeed. So yeah, we do have them right here. 
if you go into the inside of this right here, that's not that's not that much to say about them, but it's kind of pretty standard on the inside, like the setup and stuff like that. It looks pretty good. It's a good looking tractor, definitely indeed. I really do like how it is actually set up and set together. It's a really good tractor and um, it looks pretty good. Actually, it is the Adco Group who actually owns the Challenger brand right now. Uh, it used to be Caterpillar, but they sold the brand to Adco. So it is basically just a fin, if you can say that. You can, know, you can see right here, actually. If I actually have to show you guys, we have the fin right here. The 900 Review MT is the same as the MT700, basically, just in another colorway. And that's the truth, actually. And we have the A1100 MT, which is the same as the MT800. You can correct me if I'm wrong, but this right here, I think it's a little bit, it's a little, no, it's actually the same power. So <laughs> it's the same tractor, just in a thin colorway. So these look like pretty good right here. If you have to go ahead and do a, a run on these right here. I would definitely use these on some kind of big map if we get that in the later future. But at the moment, not so much, I guess. But um, right here, I'm not that much into like tracked tractors actually, but it can turn on a plate as you can see right there, uh, just like this on both directions. And um, yeah, I, th I guess that's pretty much it that we do have to say about these uh, these tractors right here looks pretty cool. Love the graphics on the snake. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think about these new mods right here in the game. Post a comment in the comment section down under this video. Make sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't done that. And please show your appreciation to this video and also to the mod creators out there. And just in general, show the appreciation for new mods on like farm in 2019 that's just great by hitting the thumbs up and let's go ahead and see if we get 100 likes on this video that would be great we're gonna see you guys in the next one which is coming up later today because we have a lot of new things that we have to catch up on since we got that vacation going we're gonna see you guys later thanks for watching thanks for coming through and bye goodbye